I'm Kevin. Well, three news. I'll step out of the way here. 906 Weather Watcher photos here. A beautiful photo once again from Kevin Dunham here. And this is looking west from Munising here. And you can see just the gorgeous color in the sky and some clouds as well. And we'll talk about the clouds here in just a second because those clouds you see in that weather photo is playing a part in our temperatures. As we look at Sandra Updike Tamarack Lake here, this is why I'm pleading with everyone to please stay off the ice. Look at the bottom part of your screen there. That is open water there and that is honeycomb ice out in the distance here and you just don't want to be out on the ice until further notice because there is just really no persistent cold in the weather forecast and we're not having that good arctic push that would start to freeze over these inland lakes. Temperatures, especially during the daytime, are going to run above freezing. This almost looks like a early spring day here in the UP. Greg Pond of Munising, you can see the sunshine. It's got that little bit of a chill to it on Lake Superior, but no snow on the ground and some sunshine. This doesn't scream the end of December. This picture would maybe fool you for an early spring photo here in the UP. Thanks, Greg, as always, for letting me use your photos on WJM and Local 3 and on our 906 Weather Watchers page. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page, it's easy. Head on over to Facebook. Feel free to join. We'd love to show off weather photos like this during WJM and Local 3 News. So here we go with three things to know here as we go through tonight. The cloud cover is going to be in the eastern UP and that's what we saw in Kevin's photo and that means it won't be as cold as you head east towards Munising, Shingleton, Newberry. But different stories you go west of Marquette where we do have the clearer skies. The clear skies is going to mean colder overnight temperatures and then winter weather that's showing up Saturday night with snow showers. Clouds temperatures in the 30s, clearing temperatures in the lower 20s. And as we look at our weather view here with clouds and precipitation, you can see the clouds kind of hanging tough out east, but clear skies out west. And then the clouds pick up the pace for all of us throughout the day on Saturday. And then here comes your snow shower Saturday night, followed by lake effect snow showers on Sunday. As for snow here, really not adding up too terribly, but as you can see, the numbers adding up in portions of Marquette and Barriga counties and also in parts of the western UP and q on Peninsula. No wind to speak up between now and tomorrow night, but Sunday this wind's going to have a little bit of a bite to it because it's going to be a colder northerly wind at times, gusting over 20 miles per hour, perhaps even near or over 30 miles per hour. There's your lows tonight. Houghton, 25. Berrigan and Lance, 24. Ontonagon, 25 as well. Across the interior west, this is probably the best spot in the UP that has a shot of seeing temperatures fall into the teens. Highs tomorrow back into the 30s across the south central UP and near Lake Michigan. Look for low temperatures tonight to be in the low to mid 20s, perhaps upper 20s for Manistique 27 into the eastern UP. For Curtis Cini and Germfast, we'll have a low tonight of 26. 33 for that same area tomorrow. 26 tonight for Newberry. 32 for a daytime high for Saturday. Elger County will have low temperatures tonight that will be in the mid 20s, upper 20s though for Grand Marais 29, and then highs tomorrow in the low to mid 30s. Marquette County will have lows tonight that will fall back into the 20s, but where we do get some clearing, it could be a little bit colder. Highs tomorrow into the middle 30s. And then for the higher terrain of Marquette County, we'll have a low tonight for Mishigami of 22, 21 for Republic, 23 for Ishpeming and Nagani. High temperatures in the middle 30s. And then for the city of Marquette and along the Lake Superior shoreline, we'll have, a lows, we'll have lows tonight, upper 20s to around 30. Highs tomorrow back into the middle 30s.